Welcome back. For the final steps of our tutorial, let's try adding code so that when our player overlaps or comes into contact with our enemy projectile, in my case, the Grinch, our player will lose a life. We'll also try to level up this code by adding a sound effect. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is take a shortcut. We are actually going to hover our mouse over the on sprite overlaps other sprite block and we are going to right click on that block and select duplicate. Now don't worry that it looks grayed out. We're just going to find another space for it on the editor. We have to change the projectile here at the very end to enemy. Because we made that change, notice that the blocks are now active. We can tell that because they are bright and colorful again. In the destroy block, we're going to change the effect from confetti to a different visual effect for when our player runs into the enemy. Let's go with disintegrates and let's change the sound effect. So play sound, click on the drop down, and let's go with wah, wah, wah. And the last block we are going to change is the change score. Now you have a couple of choices here. You could leave the change score block and change this to a negative one so that the score decreases when your player overlaps with the enemy projectile or you can delete this block altogether by removing it and then clicking delete. Let's go to info and we're going to add a change life block by negative one so that our player loses a life when it overlaps with the enemy projectile, in this case, the Grinch. And that's it. Before I turn it over to you, let's try playing our game. I'm going to make the controller full screen and let's try collecting some presents and avoiding the Grinch. Uh-oh, I hit the Grinch. Notice I lost a uh, life. So for the final time, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Try adding code so that when your player overlaps with your enemy projectile, your player loses either a point or loses a life or both. Try adding a different visual effect as well as a different sound effect as well for when that player overlaps with the enemy projectile. And when you're finished, take time to play your game. Does it play the way that you wanted it to play? If not, maybe you have to go back to your code to do a little debugging. Make sure to check back to the slides at the end in order to see even more tutorials and more ideas that you can do with Microsoft Make Code Arcade during and beyond Hour of Code.